So which, so which treatment do you give for severe patients? Uh, Except, you know, all the supportive treatment. Maybe you don't treat, it's okay. <laughs> okay, just as you said, supportive therapy is the most uh, important therapy for critical ill patients. And uh, actually, we add some medicines such as IVIT, and for some patients, we use some uh, heparin, uh, heparin to do some coagulation therapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes, if you find there are some infections, antibiotics are be used. But as you said that, we don't hope that there is any powerful antivirus therapy that will be very helpful in the critical ear patients. Because just as Dr. Dr. Xiao said that, for our patients who develop to the severe stage, uh, the duration of the, the disease is about uh, 20 days or two for two months. And at that time, the virus, the virus didn't have mass, uh, the virus didn't cause so much symptoms. And we can find that the IgG and IgM is positive for these patients. So we thought that, we think that we are dealing with the consequence caused by the COVID-19, but not the COVID-19 itself. So that's what we do in our critical ill patients. Uh, I, I want to uh, give some uh, uh, comment about your question. Uh, for the mild patient, besides the, uh, the, the rest, uh, in China, we should isolate the patient in the appointed hospital. All these kind of patients, these are mild patients. Although they have no very serious symptoms, but the patient should be admitted to the hospital uh, to pre prevent them uh, from uh, infectious to other people. Uh, for the moderate disease, for the moderate patient, uh, of course we can give them uh, some medications such as the IVIG, just uh, my colleague said before. But uh, for this kind of patient, some of this kind of patient may progress into severe or critical, critical patients. So prevent this moderate patient from uh, uh, going on, going on to uh, progression is very important. So at this moment, at this moment, a, a glucosteroid may be tested, in, may be prescribed in this kind of patient. Uh, in, uh, in our hospital, in our intensive care unit, we use, uh, in, uh, we use uh, 40 milligram uh, mesic uh, prednisolone to, to treat this, 40 milligram twice a day, twice a day uh, to treat this kind of patient and reduce the dose gradually. And sometimes interleukin-6 blocker, uh, anti-interleukin-6 drug can be used, but uh, the efficacy of the, these drugs uh, uh, need to be studied further. For the, uh, for the, for the critically ill patients, uh, of course, mechanical ventilation is a very support very important supportive treatment. But uh, besides this, the uh, invasive mechanical uh, ventilation, uh, many other treatments, we call the comprehensive supportive treatment. Comprehensive supportive, just uh, as uh, uh, my colleague uh, mentioned before, including the anticoagulation, because many of these patients have hyper and anticoagulant coagulation uh, symptoms, including uh, antiphosphate uh, antiphosphate uh, antiphosphate uh, syndrome and uh, APS. So this kind of patient should be treated with heparin, uh, sometimes uh, plus aspirin, to 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 for the for the for the hypercoagulation. Also, the patient need need to the nutritional support, uh, maybe. Very, very important for the nutritional spot. Also, the patient should pay attention to uh, uh, acid base balance, electrolyte balance, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, in, 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 our, in our hospital, in our ICU, we pay great attention to great attention to the comprehensive support for this kind of patients. Besides, besides the respi respiratory support.